Hi, I'm Dave Sutton. I'm a member of Southport Contemporary Arts. What I'd like to do is just introduce my art to you and explain the process I use to produce it and the rationale behind it. And I'll be going through that in quite a bit more detail later on. What I'd like to do to start off with is just to introduce you to uh, three images and explain what they are and to give you a flavour for, for the type of work I do. So if we take the first one, it, in essence it looks like three vases with flowers in them. Actually it's a number of fractal images. So if they're quite complex fractal images I've created. I've then moved them through a process of artificial intelligence in order to slightly change the images and sh slightly change the colours. And this is purely starting off with fractals. What I do then is to use traditional digital art techniques to produce the vases, uh, superimpose the fractals, and on uh, the larger vases you can see some bees there. And those bees um, actually use some computer code to generate some of the colours and the patterns. And that's part of the process of, of in introducing uh, technology into the production of artwork. Um, what I'm showing you now is something which is very different. So on here you'll see a picture and this picture starts off with some paint pouring. I've used uh, computer code to generate the, uh, the graphical image in the center there and that's been changed by a, a monitor. So the idea of this was to do with breath. So the, uh, the image in the center has changed based on uh, my breath. Uh, so I've captured my breath, the conditions of it. I've also uh, captured the environmental conditions of the, the land outside where I live and, and put those into the image. And they've changed the, the, some of the patterns and some of the colours have been changed using this environmental monitor. So it's captured my breath and the breath of the land, which is the purpose of doing the picture. This one starts somewhere very different. This is the latest technology and the, the very latest, and we're talking about months now, in the way that art can be produced uh, using um, uh, artificial intelligence. So it's actually started off with a, uh, an image created by artificial intelligence. I did some modifications to that, quite a few modifications. I then produced an environmental monitor, the one we've mentioned before. I took a photograph of it modified it and that became the portal. Uh, what I'm showing you now is this is just a, an opening image of a book because what I've been doing is using artificial intelligence to create stories and then based on that, the stories I then start to create pictures. So it's a, it just gives me a theme to work to and this theme that uh, came out of the story is a game called the Game of Portals. What this image is 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 the starting picture which shows the a map of all the portals and the idea is uh, people move through time and to different places um, uh, based on the portal they've gone through and they can then ge generate those pictures. So just to go back to where I actually started which a few years ago on this was based on a TED talk where the idea had been introduced whereby art can help in solving some of the uh, major technical problems within a country and the idea was artists uh, uh, tend to be quite innovative and um, uh, very good at uh, coming up with new ideas and, and you could you and scientists could learn from that and that was the idea you introduce art and science and you meld them together so i started with this concept of i'll start to integrate art and science but I would actually use the latest technologies for art. Now what's happened over the last year is the way that art, digital art can be produced using artificial intelligence has changed out of all recognition. When I started I couldn't really do a lot with artificial intelligence all I could do was slightly change the colours and the patterns and the styles of pictures. What it's possible to, to do now is completely create a, a picture from scratch. But as where my interest is, is in actually combining art and science. So this is now possible to start with a photograph or fractal images or an idea, a digital painting, and then use artificial intelligence, 
intelligence at the end in order to slightly modify it and make it look more creative. What I can do now is start with a picture which has been generated using artificial intelligence or more or less work backwards and start appending the technology images on top of it to make it unique. So my art is different than other people's in the sense that I don't stop when I when I have a good picture. I'll say, well, have I done enough in terms of innovation? And if not, I'll then start to add further images uh, into what could be a final images, an image. The other thing I'm, I do is that I'm, I'm creating electronics and uh, monitors so that I can feed uh, environmental conditions for example and other types of conditions into the photographs and into the images so that the image itself now contains uh, some elements in science. A lot of the inspiration comes from um, the latest research in into science so I'll, I'll read the new scientist for example and then I'll uh, if anything sparks my imagination I'll start to do work on a piece of art on it or if I read, hear the news and something captures my imagination. Also, I'll start to write these stories whereby I'm using the story as a thread for individual images. I can actually take these individual stories and start to uh, combine them to create a book. So I've created a, a number of short books uh, for children uh, within the family and I can get them produced uh, fairly quickly as, hard, as hardcover books. The other thing you, you can do is that you can use the same technique to come up with some new ideas. So what I've actually done is I've asked artificial intelligence rather than write a story is to come up with some suggestions about how art can be used to regenerate and rejuvenate cell port. And some of the suggestions are, are quite innovative and I've used some of those to create uh, images. So some of my artwork is based on suggestions that artificial intelligence came up with in order to regenerate and rejuvenate cell port. What you see here is an image produced by artificial intelligence of one of its simplest suggestions. And this is a, a simple piece of artwork that's produced out of waste. And the idea is that uh, students would produce uh, this artwork using waste and the colours would change depending on how the progress is made on environmentals. So we'd be changing every year, changing the colours, just to keep a check of the progress that's been made throughout the world. So thanks very much for listening.